Take one look at Kindergarten and you can see that it's not a graphically intense game. It caps the FPS at your monitor's refresh rate, and most if not all of you will be able to easily hit that number. The only downsides I had were a few moments when the game would give me an error message when I was spamming the spacebar to skip dialogue. I wasn't able to replicate the problem, but hopefully the devs will address this issue in an upcoming patch. Kindergarten uses a narrative that embraces its nonsensical nature, from the unnamed protagonist that has the power to relive the same day over and over again, to the unnaturally articulate children. It's a game that doesn't bother with explaining the finer details of its premise, but it has other qualities that set it apart from other titles that don't care about the narrative at all. Taking place in a kindergarten filled with strange events and even stranger staff members, the story progresses as you complete each child's mission that deals with this bizarre situation. While the narrative and its predictable plot aren't anything special, I was pleasantly surprised by the amount of personality given to the individual kids. Each of them has their own unique subplot that ties into the main storyline, and it was pretty interesting to see how they deal with their current predicament. I wouldn't go so far as to call them memorable, but I think they did a good job of keeping me entertained throughout the 4-5 hour experience. That said though, your enjoyment will largely depend on your tolerance for the kindergarten sense of humour. From the footage shown earlier, it's clear that this game is far from family friendly, and while most of this boils down to child abuse, there are a couple of scenes with rather disgusting subtext as well. Overall, I'd argue that these sections suit the game's atmosphere, but it's important to go into it with an expectation that things can get a little disturbing. Ultimately though, the title uses mildly entertaining characters, a simple plot, and its nonsensical nature to give you a decent story, but its true merits come from its gameplay. Kindergarten is an abstract puzzle game made by Connor Boyle and Sean Young, and it's published by Smash Games. You'll utilize your Groundhog Day scenario to solve puzzles in the form of missions given to you by the various children, and these all revolve around either finding items for them or choosing specific dialogue options. To understand how this works, we first need to talk about the game's three main mechanics, that being time periods, resource management, and the hint system. A day in kindergarten is separated into five time periods, the beginning of school, morning class, lunchtime, recess, and finally, the show and tell. Every mission has sub-objectives in each of these periods, and you'll complete these while managing your money and time. Now money works like how you would expect. At the beginning of each day, you can choose to take out as much as you have from the piggy bank, and any remainder at the end of class gets put back in for future use. While the amount of money in your possession may change across the different periods, the time spent in said periods is set in a standard form of apples. Each time period will last 5 apples long and the game will let you know when you're about to spend one of them on a crucial action. Breaking down the puzzles like this was a great idea because it simultaneously guides and limits players in a helpful manner. By being aware of which actions cost apples, you're able to determine the options you have in each time period, and the limits of set periods prevent you from coming up with an overly convoluted plan when all you really needed was a simple approach. Some people may not prefer the close-ended nature of these puzzles, but I think it's a nice mechanic to avoid wasting the player's time. If you're still in need of further guidance, Kindergarten also offers a bunch of hints on what to do with a particular mission, which comes in the form of vague conversations or more straightforward points in the dedicated hints section. The game maintains a reasonable difficulty with most of its logical solutions, and because there is a partially set order on which missions you should complete first, you also have moments of satisfaction when knowledge from previous rounds help you with your current predicament. By encouraging you to gather information from different individuals, playing kindergarten requires a degree of trial and error, and while I genuinely enjoyed experimenting to come up with a strategy, I think it could have included some features to make the backtracking less tedious. Since playing the same period again requires you to rewatch its scripted scenes, it would have been nice to have a simple fast-forward option to play events at 2x or 4x speed. At its current state, there is nothing you can do to move things at a faster pace and that makes the process of solving certain puzzles unnecessarily slow at times. With that said though, the puzzle solving was overall very enjoyable, mainly due to its reasonable difficulty and welcomed guidance. Kindergarten uses a pixel art style that has a decent amount of map variety even though it can at times look rather basic. Most of its criticism goes towards the repetitive animations and the fact that only one or two characters can walk at any given time. It can't help but give off this static and outdated impression, though I will say as a side note, I was pleasantly surprised to see how they snuck in a pixelated poster of Star Wars The Force Awakens here. Accompanying the visuals are a handful of cheerful tunes, and these are used to accentuate the facade of a peaceful kindergarten, and when you take that in conjunction with its generic sound effects and lack of voice acting, I think it's fair to say that you get what you pay for with this title. 
puzzle games are a dime a dozen on Steam, so it's always nice to see one that utilizes its mechanics in a more abstract form. While it's not anything special visually, Kindergarten still gets my recommendation for its decent story and enjoyable gameplay. If you can handle its form of humor and subject matter, then this is a worthwhile product to sink a few hours into. And that's it for me. Thank you so much for your time. Please subscribe and comment if you feel so inclined. And as always, I hope you found this video helpful.